Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the Nambe Wellness Center in the Pueblo of Nambe, New Mexico. Uh, we're very happy to be here today to share what we're doing with the youth of uh, the Native American youth of uh, northern New Mexico. Um, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Steve Lawrence. Uh, today I'm with George Rivera and his wife Felicia Rivera, who created this uh, foundation called the Valentino Sigoanu uh, Rivera Lightning Boy Foundation. The Hoop Dance uh, has found its origins uh, in the Pueblos of northern New Mexico. This is a, a warm-up dance for our children. They're still learning. We have some advanced students uh, in, uh, interspersed with, with our beginning students. So as you, as you watch the performance today, uh, these are both beginning students and advanced students performing the Hoop Dance. Originally, the Hoop Dance, uh, in the traditional way, was a healing ceremony. So if you're out of balance physically, spiritually or mentally, it was one of the many ceremonies that the medicine man would perform uh, to bring you back to balance and harmony. But in today's contemporary hoop dance, the children dance and they weave their hoops into many different designs found in nature. So look for these designs, look for the eagle, look for the butterfly, uh, look for a design called the ladder of life which represents our journey here on earth as an infant, as a child, as a young person, as an adult, and as an elder. This ladder of life represents our journey here on earth. Uh, look for other designs, look for the flower that represents all the plants uh, and, and the grasses and the trees of the world. Uh, look for the butterfly which also represents all the insects uh, of the world as well and look for all the other animals that are represented in the designs that the the dancers weave their hoops into. Now we want to bring out our guest dancers. Uh, we're going to bring out uh, Ella Beresheart and she's going to be demonstrating the the uh, woman's fancy shawl powwow dance. <laughs> proud that in his first year of competition at the World Championship of Hoop Dats, Nathaniel walked away with a third place in the teenage division. He was right behind Josiah. So. But today he's going to demonstrate the grass dance, and this is how he started. He started doing this before he started hoop dancing. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Valentino was young, he really got into hip hop dancing and break dancing. And he started working with a group uh, of, uh, of hip hop and break dancers. And uh, we're happy that they're here today to showcase a little bit of the contemporary hip hop and break dancing. I'd like to introduce the uh, Santa Fe break dancers, uh, Tyrone, Ricky, and Little Ricky. And Alejandra.
three years ago, uh, Nakoda, he had such a big love for hip hop dancing that he, he would do that at home and he'd go out and hip hop dance. But he's also a world champion hoop dancer. So about three years ago, he fused two of these dance genres, hip hop and hoop dancing, to create this fusion called Hip Hop Hoop Dance. And he came up with this about three years ago and he debuted it at the Santa Fe Indian Market Fashion Show. And it was a really big hit. Uh, the people loved it. And so after that performance, he got a lot of requests to do his, not only his traditional hoop dancing, but his, his fusion of hip hop and hoop dance uh, at various uh, venues. He got invited to the Seattle Art Museum, uh, the Peabody Essex Museum, uh, and also to the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., where he performed this. And most recently, he did a performance with the Brooklyn Ballet, where he was featured as a Native American hoop dancer, but he, uh, he, uh, he performed this fusion of hip hop hoop dance at the, uh, at the Brooklyn Ballet's annual Nutcracker Ballet performance. Nakoda and some of those other people are paid to go perform all around the world. Nakoda uh, was the lead dancer at the Pan Am Games. Yeah, and he, he danced in the, uh, the New so York Ballet. Kind of Part of the show is, is, is all, also knowing the cultural background and talking to people about that. So it's not just a, it's not just a presentation of a physical something it comes from Native American heritage and so that's what he's really good at is describing yeah. that Find out more about what we're doing, and if you want to help us uh, make a financial donation to carry on uh, and teach dance to the youth of the Pueblos of northern New Mexico, we'd be happy to hear from you. George Rivera changed the Pewaukee Pueblo culture. And if you'd like to change lives for the better, it would be greatly appreciated. You know, we have a lot of YouTube channels, TV channels. One of them is Hotel Video Showcase. So whenever we see a hotel that we want you to know about, you can find it there. There's also Golfing Country TV. It's called Golfing Country TV on YouTube. Great place to go to see the latest in golf courses or ones that we've visited through the years. 
And of course, for our Hometowns and Heroes TV show, we have on YouTube, Hometowns and Heroes. So please go to that. And if you wanna know about restaurants, top restaurant videos. So we have a lot of channels that are TV channels where they are very full packed with information and they're on YouTube. Take a look. Thank you for watching Hometowns and Heroes in Golfing Country. And if you would, give us a like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, we'd sure like to hear them. Thank you.